Welcome back, stable. But Captain Anand, just to answer your second question on the, okay, let's let's answer that uh, in a bit. But Kiran Mazumdar of Biocon is right now making an announcement on the results. Let's hear her out. Delivered 509 crores, and at a PAT level, we have uh, approached uh, the 300 crore mark by delivering 293 crores of PAT. These, I believe, are very strong numbers and we have very, very smartly rebounded from last year's fiscal performance. Um, AxiCorp, our German subsidiary, has also performed extremely well. AxiCorp has uh, grown 93% in terms of its top-line performance and has delivered uh, a very strong uh, top-line of 1,493 crores. Uh, this fiscal uh, and it has also delivered uh, a fairly good uh, you know uh, pack performance as well now in terms of uh, the uh, group performance uh, in terms of biocon group without axicorp uh, we have actually uh, grown 25 percent year on year uh, at uh, 1,493 crores, uh, I, I beg your pardon, uh, AxiCorp's growth is 93% uh, 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 where it has uh, delivered a very different set of numbers, uh, but uh, the Biocon group excluding AxiCorp has grown 25% uh, and at an EBITDA level as well we have grown 22%. Uh, what is important for me to mention here is that the margins uh, of the Biocon group uh, excluding AxiCorp are at 30 percent and of course when you add AxiCorp to this business it uh, goes down to 21 percent but I think I would hasten to add that AxiCorp is a business that is largely a top-line business and therefore the uh, kind of margins at which it operates of course is very very small. Um, the AxiCorp uh, uh, numbers are uh, also going to be shared separately, but some of the highlights of this uh, fiscal's performance is uh, that we have actually acquired uh, uh, the 49% stake in Biocon Biopharmaceuticals Limited. And I would like to uh, clarify here that this quarter's uh, pact uh, of 81 crores for the group actually uh, takes into account a charge of 10 crores, 3 crores on account of uh, a charge of uh, the losses of acquiring uh, the BBPL business. And there's an additional charge of 7 uh, crores pertaining to a charge that we have taken uh, on account of AxiCorp, uh, which has actually acquired some minority shareholder interest and we have been prudent enough to charge that to our accounts this uh, fiscal. So, you know, technically speaking, we have, uh, uh, you know, reduced or shrunk our pact by 10 crores, but this is for prudent reasons. Ma'am, you posted some really strong numbers. What would you say are the major contributors for that, especially if you look at PAT, including AxiCorp, which is increased by 220 I believe that, you know, we have actually done very well across all businesses. Uh, if you look at our uh, statins business, if you look at our insulin and immunosuppressants business, all these have uh, grown uh, over 20%. Our healthcare business has grown 35%. Uh, Syngene and Clinigene collectively have also grown uh, significantly. Uh, this has also uh, contributed to this growth this fiscal. And uh, as I mentioned, AxiCorp of course has uh, grown, uh, you know, by 93% this fiscal. Of course, I should correct that uh, AxiCorp uh, growth numbers because AxiCorp's uh, numbers last fiscal only accounted for three quarters, whereas this year it reflects the full year. But even on a year-to-year -year basis, this growth has been significant. 
by when you plan on introducing your friend insulin devices and what kind of contribution acronym is you seeing from diabetes from the segment and what's the kind of growth you're expecting to achieve in the next uh, you know, insulins have grown very strongly for us this fiscal and, uh, you know, we plan to introduce our uh, pens uh, later this year. I think uh, we have been developing this pen for quite a while now, but we are now uh, quite confident that we will be, uh, you know, introducing pens to various markets, including, of course, India uh, by the end of this year. Um, Diabetes is going to be a very strong focus for us. Uh, we expect this business to uh, reach a size of over 500 crores in the next three years. And uh, we also expect diabetes to be a very, very strong focus for us. Uh, we hope that in the next 10 years, uh, Biocon is in the top 10 diabetes managed care business uh, globally. All right, Kiran Mazundar Shaw there clarifying that the PAT could have actually been 10 crore higher if the company had not for prudent measures taken a charge owing to certain acquisitions that it made. That's all we have. Coming up next is Markets Meeting.